Hello everybody, it is me, Pacific. I wanted to comment a little further as today is December 25th, 2012, commonly known as Christmas. I did a video saying Christmas is not Christian, something to that extent. I've done some thinking since I made that video and, and just kind of made observations over the years and I wanted to share some things. One thing that this day <clears throat> has come to represent in America that's good is that family and people usually try to get together. And I am all for that. In our technologically advanced age with texting and computers and everything, we tend to isolate ourselves from each other. And there is nothing wrong with people getting together and sharing a good meal, good conversation, and loving and caring for each other something that seems to be disappearing more and more from the American landscape. And I want to balance this video with <clears throat> objective truth and opinion and experiences, but uh, as I've told my viewers before, I don't celebrate Christ Mass. <clears throat> In my other video, I did discussing with why I don't believe in celebrating Christmas, because it is pagan to the core. It's the winter solstice. It's a marriage between Catholicism and paganism. And most of Catholicism has its roots in paganism as well. I don't do the tree and the wreath and the mistletoe and the holly and the Santa Claus and all that other stuff. I also marvel. Everybody says, oh, good, we're going to have a white Christmas. It's just, And it's so touchy-feely. People get so caught up. Now, I do admit it snowed last night. The snow is beautiful out here today, but it's so funny because I want to emphasize, emphasize something, <clears throat> or excuse me, emphasize, get my words straight here. If we really study the biblical account of the birth of Jesus Christ, meaning that <clears throat> he came into the world as a man, those of us that are Christians, we understand the scriptures correctly, Jesus Christ is God and always was. So he didn't have a birth, so to speak. He simply came down, God incarnate. That means in flesh. And that's why what happened in Mary was virgin. <clears throat> there was no semen necessary to hit the egg and cause the birth of human life. The Holy Spirit came upon her, placed the Son of God in into Mary, <clears throat> who simply was the vehicle used to deliver her son into the world, who actually is God's son. Mary herself, contrary to the Catholic's teaching, said, I rejoice, my soul rejoices in God and my Savior. Mary is not to be elevated the way the Catholics have done it. It is Mariolatry, which is a form of idolatry. One of the things... <clears throat> that bothers me in watching people. Two weeks ago, I was at a place called Colorado Mills, a very large mall here in Lakewood, which is quite popular. <coughs> I went up there with one intention, just to walk laps inside the mall, because it's so big and a cold day and I wanted to be indoors. The first thing I did, I pulled in the parking lot where I can normally park. What a zoo. I had to park all the way at the back in a few last leftover spaces that were just so far from the mall to walk to people in a park there. I get in the mall and it's just a sea of humanity and I thought, you know, it's amazing. This holiday, Christmas generates so much materialism, so much clanging of change in the merchant's cash registers, and I just wonder, do people really think that this is a God thing? Giving gifts to each other, mostly to people who have an overabundance of stuff, people feeling obligated during the season to buy gifts, <clears throat> whether they can afford it or not. A co-worker of mine said her and her husband were selling their 72 grand Torino. And if any of you are interested in that, i got to find out if it's still for sale, but she's interested in unloading it for less than $2,000 with a rebuilt engine and everything. What bothers me is she wants to sell this thing so she can buy gifts for the kids. And I said, do you feel that you really have to do that? Well, yeah, we, we, we got to do this. We, we got to get our kids gifts. <clears throat> the pressure, and that this is what's happened with this whole holiday in the U.S., and this started in England and Europe, 
the merchants pushed the, 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 the whole promotion of Christmas to the forefront because for them it was a cash cow. And now Christmas starts just after the Halloween stuff is off the racks. Before we even got to Thanksgiving, we got all the Christmas crap all over the place. And what bothers me about it <clears throat> is Christians get caught up in all this. And they run around with their cutesy little boring sweaters with little reindeer and little cutesy stuff on it. And Jesus is the reason for the season. <laughs> I want to shout, no he isn't. And you can't argue with Christians. To them, this is their high holy day. Now, Pacific went to church on Sunday and we sang some hymns like Oh Holy Night and stuff like that. And I want to tell you, good stop. I have no problem focusing on that. But we've made an enshrinement out of the birth of Christ <clears throat> and wrapped all these traditions and false religions and paganism around it that most Christians can't tell the difference. And I remember years ago that a lot of Christians I knew, they didn't do the tree and sand and all that, and now most Christians today do all of that. They think there's nothing wrong with it. It's funny, Jesus has something to say about honoring traditions made by men, but nullifying the very word of God. And evangelical Christianity in the U.S. is no exception. I find that most Christians are biblically and historically illiterate, very much so. And if you stand up and tell somebody to look at the origins of Christ Mass and the whole thing, they don't want to hear it, and they'll call you legalist, shut you down, and say, well, he has no joy. He, 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 just, he just doesn't have the spirit of of Christmas in him. <clears throat> no, I've been liberated by the truth. I'm sitting here doing this video, folks, alone by myself. I was invited to go with the family. Now, I was with the family last night. I really liked it. And the reason I didn't go is I wanted to collect my thoughts today, make some videos, and just have Pacific time. I'm around people all the time, believe it or not. 24-7, it seems like, except when I go to sleep. <clears throat> and I deliberately wanted to be alone today because I've been alone many times on the Christmas holiday. I was alone in Hong Kong. Most of my friends had to work that day, and I was by myself. <clears throat> and you know what? I've arrived to say I rather enjoy it. I am whole. I am free. And what saddens me is because of the pressure put on our American society about this holiday. I, I was at church the other day, and uh, some missionaries were there from the Philippines, white white guy and his Asian wife. I'm not sure what she was. They said Merry Christmas to me and I just said thank you and I immediately started. And she looked at me so funny because I didn't say Merry Christmas back. By the way, I went through this whole season. Today will end and I have not said Merry Christmas. I can't do it. I can't say Merry Christmas. The whole origin of that has nothing to do with Christ. And the thing that bothered me is I didn't get as much harassment as I thought. But a lady came up to me at church here, do you want one of these buttons? Jesus is the reason I'm not ashamed to say Merry Christmas. I very politely said, Oh, no thanks, that's okay. Oh, but 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 it kind of promotes... Man, no. <clears throat> For those of my viewers that may misunderstand and misread me, I am devout in believing in the Bible and in all that. But as I get older, I have started to unpack a lot of the stuff things that we grew up with in our American culture. And I didn't do this on purpose. It happened by accident. It happened after living in Hong Kong, going through experiences, growing up in so-called family life. Everybody puts this big emphasis on family, and I do too. But most American families are so full of dysfunction, materialism, and traditional crapola that gets in the way with kids growing up and being productive, uh, showing manners and kindness, and you can't sift through anything anymore. We, we got a complete breakdown on all levels. <clears throat> I grew up in a white middle class culture, and some of the most messed up children I know grew up in white middle class homes that we celebrate Christmas, we celebrate Easter, we believe in the Tooth Fairy and the snow bunnies and the little weird things that we believe in, and these kids grow up a mess, self-centered, egotistical, rude, wrap their brand new car around a telephone pole, and treat people like crap. So middle class America hasn't done any favors to society. And I look at Christmas and what has happened, and I see people out there crying because they can't buy presents for their kids. I see people alone and hurting while families over here cluster together and they're eating and stuffing their hearts out like pigs and then this family down the street has absolutely nothing and it's not because they're not working. And I think, what a disparity. Christmas is a good holiday if you got money and good cheer and everything's 
financially comfortable. But if you're down and out, if you're alone, for some of these people, it's about that one step closer to pushing them to jump off a bridge. I think it's sad. I think it's sad that when people spend filling the merchant's pockets buying worthless crap. I can't tell you how many worthless presents I've seen people give each other that end up next summer in somebody's garage sale for 50 cents. Nobody wants it! We've all heard the jokes about fruitcake that make good door stops. Or they're great to throw over the fence at the neighbor's barking dog to get them to shut up and when they stick their jaws in that and get their teeth all stuck together they can't bark anymore. It's great stuff. No, I haven't done that by the way. But <clears throat> I can be alone on this day because I believe in God and when I put my faith in him he sent his Holy Spirit to live in me and though I feel lonely I feel lonely for the companionship of a female I don't feel lonely in the sense that most people feel lonely I'm not all depressed I'm not all I you know I feel good because I know him and I don't need to do all this other junk and trapments that people get into I also notice, too, that I watch people that believe so strongly in Christmas, and I watch their selfish consumerism, their narcissistic, unmannerly, unkindness. You hold doors open for all these Christmas shoppers, and they don't say thank you. And I'm not going to get into all this. For those of you who want to study the origins of Christmas, I challenge you, there's a lot of good videos on YouTube. Is Christmas Christian? Is it of God? There's some good stuff. There's good books out there. But I am for family and people getting together, eating together, enjoying that kind of stop what you're doing, intimacy, sitting at a table. Man, America used to be a nation where people sat at the table and ate together. Now the kid comes in, zaps something in the microwave, dad comes in, mom's already in bed, and vice versa. And it's like the L.A. freeway in the average household now. It's, it's too bad. So I value getting together. I value seeing people do stuff together. I don't celebrate Christmas. I find that as I get older, <clears throat> the things that I celebrate, I believe in the 4th of July. We got our independence as a country, and that makes me happy. I believe in Thanksgiving. And I believe in celebrating somebody's birthday because they were born in the world, and all of us were born in the world, and it should be recognized. You know what? I'm glad you're here. Christmas, Easter, <clears throat> Halloween, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, all of it pagan. Yes, St. Patrick's Day too. And the thing is, <clears throat> I'm not a bah humbug scrooge. I'm a very giving person. But I think it's funny that everybody majors on one day of the year to blow out their wallets, max out their credit cards, to buy a lot of gifts that people a, either don't need, don't want, or don't appreciate. And we stop and think, how much good have we done with all that money wasted at the malls? The malls in America pay huge rent for their retail outlet, and you're paying their rent through the markup of their product. And the thing that you bought isn't worth anything after you take it out of the store, just like a car, devalued. I really have simplified, and it feels good. <clears throat> I love people. But I think it's great. I was invited to be with this family today, and I politely said, hey, that's okay. That's you guys. That's your family. That's your intimate time. I don't want to be a third wheel, but thank you. I appreciate that. And it gives me time to be alone with my thoughts and make more wonderful videos to pollute the Internet. I love this medium. I love it so much because finally, instead of debating and talking about my views to everybody else, <clears throat> I can do this here. I'm content. There's people that like what I have to say, and I love it. But for me, I don't do Christmas. I don't do it. I did enjoy the dinner last night. When I was done and everybody was opening presents, I went in and cleaned all the dishes and cleaned the kitchen, and everybody was just like, wow, he single-handedly did all that? That felt good. My life is about doing stuff. My life is about making a difference and, and blessing people that way. And that's something that should happen every day, <clears throat> not just once a year unloading my wallet. I bought no gifts this year. I sent no cards this year. And I'm so happy to say I did not say Merry Christmas. And you know what? I got through it. I still believe in being kind to people. And when people say Merry Christmas, I just say thank you. Happy holidays. And that's all I say. I'm not going to be rude. Oh, I don't celebrate it. You know, those crusty old 
you know, weirdos that hang out in old fusty churches. No thanks. But I'm on a mission for truth. I'm on a mission for truth about everything we do, everything we hold in esteem. I like nailing Hollywood culture and all our little traditions that have nothing to do with what people think it has to do with. Well, that's funny. People get on a bandwagon. But if Jesus is really the reason for the season, then you might want to read the scripture, Christians, where the men gave Jesus their gifts. And what's funny is we buy gifts for those of us that like us, those of us that are friends. But how many of us stop what we're doing, take that thousand dollars you just spent on your kids, and go down to a rescue mission and say, I want to give this to you to feed these homeless people? How many? I don't I haven't met anybody to date. How many would send that money to the Philippines to help families that are starving? Not many. Christmas has become quite a selfish holiday, hasn't it? I'm going to get a present for him because I know I'm getting one back. We're going to stuff our faces out and we're going to do all these little silly New Year's resolutions that we break and we're going to go on a diet. The holidays have become gluttony, both in food and materialism. It's all about me. I find that most children growing up, even in Christian homes, we do what we call <clears throat> tokenism. Tokenism, and I heard this from a black friend of mine, and I, I like the word. Tokenism is when we <clears throat> rush into this whole holiday spirit. Oh, let's buy the presents. Let's do this. Now, hold it, kids. Hold it. Stop. We're going to read the Christ story. We're going to read the Christ story now. We're going to put on a little nativity and we're going to say, Happy birthday to Jesus. <laughs> it's like, are we really that dumb? And it's sad. <clears throat> We give this much to God, and we give our all to fulfilling our own lust for food and presents and everything but. And it's really sad. And the kids grow up thinking, forget that Bible reading. I want to open my presents, man. I remember growing up, I've been at other people's houses where the kids tear through the presents, and nobody remembers who got what or who they got it from because they tore the cards in half opening the presents. And then they're already rampaging to the next package to see what they got. And I sit there and go, Jesus is the reason for this? Really? I look at holiday shoppers. They're rude. They're unkind, most of them. And I just think, you know what? This holiday really boils down to, in American culture, the haves versus the have-nots. And as people walk out to their SUVs loaded with their big camel bags of presents that they're buying, and then I drive down Colfax and I see all these homeless and bearded people wearing their grubby jeans. And I look and go, you know, something about this just isn't right. Now, I know that some people are homeless by choice. They do drugs, drinking, and they pee away their life. I can't feel sorry for them. I feel sorry in that they're not getting free from their addiction. I'm not going to go up and hand a man money just to buy beer and more drugs. Sorry if you call me uncompassionate. I am unapologetic. We got panhandlers all over Denver, and most of them are career bums. No thanks. I work hard for my money, and I'm going to give them a dime when I smell the alcohol in their breath, and they're standing down there every single day and collecting $200 from John Q's stupid public, who thinks by throwing a few quarters at them that they're doing a real God thing. You got to use your brain, folks. You got to use your brain. Most people that are deeply in need are not going to be parading around in the streets. They're going to be embarrassed, and they're going to be ashamed. I would challenge the churches in America, that person that walks in that's not part of your clique, that's quiet every Sunday, and you know by the way he's dressed that he's not making big money. Maybe you ought to take the time to get to know him. Maybe he's just barely making it. Maybe he has nobody in his life that cares about him, and when you're ignoring him, and you're all praising Jesus, and you're all up there rocking for the Lord, and you're ignoring him and not saying hello, wow. But Jesus is the reason for the season. It's disgusting, folks. I find that the people wearing those bumper stickers and wearing those on their shirts, they're quite affluent and they're very comfortable and they're doing really well. I liked living in China because they don't celebrate it over there. It was nice that December 25th was another day. And when I was with the Chinese lady, it was so nice not to have to be caught up in that. And there are times when I joke to myself, I thought, with all the problems I've had with Western women, 
And here I met a woman. She's not caught up in that Christian offensive rock that they call worship. She doesn't celebrate Christmas. She's not a feminist. She's not loaded with baggage and drama and high maintenance and trying to compete against men. And it dawned on me, Pacific, maybe you should marry a Chinese woman straight in China. If only I could get a work visa, I would in a minute, because I'm starting to realize all the stuff that even a woman I was talking to today that has an interest in me, she says, she, she's denying parts of the Bible and calling herself a Christian. I'm like, gosh, I have more trouble with Christian women than I do non-Christian women. Sad but true. My point is, we need to question what we're doing. We need to question why we believe this is so good. Not everything Christians do is God-ordained or biblically sanctioned. Some things we do are just the result of generations of tradition being pushed and passed. And we do this because we do this because we've been doing this forever. When I started questioning things, I started feeling liberated. It's like, wow, I'm starting to realize a lot of this stuff really has no place for me. But, <clears throat> when you live in this culture, you're not going to be able to fight against everything. But I am all for getting together with people. And that's the day they choose to do it. I stay out of all that other junk, and I just try to be kind. And that's what matters to me. So, this is Pacific's thoughts on it. I hope all of you are enjoying your day today. And I hope you'll take to heart some of the things I say. Think about it. Do your research. It's worth looking into. Some of what you find will shock you. Pacific signing off. Bye-bye.